Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're having a look at this fantastic phone. Let's have a look on the uh, outside quickly. Um, we've got a four inch screen. We've got a front facing camera, some sensors on here. We've got a hardware buttons, which is important. Some people don't like these uh, new touchscreen buttons. This has got hardware buttons. So if you prefer physical hardware buttons, that's great. On the side, we've got a headphone jack. We've got a rear facing camera and we've got an LED flash and then we've got the sound up and down rocker and on top here we've got our on button and uh, hidden beneath here we've got our USB port as well for charging and data transfer. Okay, let's uh, take the back off. Now to take the back off you've got a little sort of thing here and you just pull it out like that and this is a dual sim uh, Android phone so it can take one sim or two sims now one of the slots is 3G or GSM and the other slot is GSM only um, and the sim cards just go in there like that and then we've got a memory card slot as well um, just here like that then the battery goes in like so and the back cover goes on like that and there we have it and turn it on while that's turning on let me show you what it comes with now it comes with a battery obviously and it also comes with a, a charger uh, transfer cable you can plug that into your USB on your computer to charge it or if you've got a USB uh, plug like this you can charge it or you can buy uh, one at extra cost from us you also get a pair of headphones so you can listen to your music plus it's got a, a little microphone jack so you can take actually phone calls with it too and finally you get an uh, instruction manual now the instruction manual isn't that detailed and great but if there's anything you need do give us a call or drop us an email and we'll do the best we can to help okay so the phone started now so all I need to do is just drag to unlock there and then we have our home screen now on Android you can have several home screens um, and you can put various uh, links to your applications and uh, widgets and things like I've got here. I've got my um, uh, Weather widget there now. Let's have a look at the the, uh, the home screen down here We've got uh, app tray. So if I click that we can uh, we can look at all the applications and things I've got installed on here If I go back I can go to the phone functions here so I can dial out a number look at my call log look at contacts uh, favorites and things like that and that's all my contacts there and I can call out those contacts and here I've got the uh, the, the, the customization so I can change the wallpaper and things like that Okay, on top of here I've got my notification tray, it's telling you I've just updated a few things and also I can turn the Wi-Fi off, the Bluetooth on and off, the GPS, the data, the uh, sound profiles and things up there. Also you'll notice both my sims are on. Now these are active at the same time so basically um, I can receive or make out a call from both of those sims at the same time. So essentially carrying two phones at the same time. I'm going back to the phone functions, let's show you how you call out from the sims. So I go to the phone, I dial out my number, press call, and then I'll get an option. So I can call out from my T-Mobile on my Vodafone um, from there. Similarly with text messaging is exactly the same. So if I go to open the text message application there, create new, um, I would this is a good opportunity to show the keyboard. I'll dial out the, uh, the or, or uh, message. I'll type out the message. There we are. You can do the keyboard in a landscape mode as well. If I just get the landscape keyboard out there. Once I've done that, I press send and I'll get the same option as I did with the phone. It will ask me which SIM I want to send it from. Now when you receive text messages as well, it will tell you which SIM you're receiving it from as well. 
so that's very handy indeed. Now this is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread um, which is a very stable version of Android but uh, some people do like the new Androids that are out, Android 4 and the 4.1 Jelly Bean. Now because this has um, the Google Play Store, I'll show you, it's been recently updated to the latest Play Store so you're getting the latest Play Store on here because it up just updates itself. Uh, once you get yours it will be the older Play Store but it will automatically update eventually. Now from here I can choose games, movies, books, magazines, um, I can buy stuff and a lot of stuff is free as well so if I go to games you can have a look, a lot of games on here are absolutely free. So that's really great. Now one of the things that you can do on here to change the look and feel of your uh, of your Android uh, is to download what's called a launcher. Now I've already downloaded a few launchers and I'll show you what I mean. Now if I press the home button, I've not made a default launcher yet so you can do if you want to. Um, but I've left it open so I can choose. Now I can choose this launcher for example here. And that changes the whole look of my Android. Uh, phone, you can see it gives it a more of a uh, ice cream sandwich Android 4 look to it. See the home screen is different, the application tray is different as well. I can choose widgets from there, very much similar to the Android 4. So you don't necessarily need to go for an Android 4 phone, you can go for this phone and make it look like Android 4 because you know Android 4 does have some good stuff, but really it looks different. Um, and you can achieve that by just downloading a launcher. Now, I can uh, there's another one here as well, I quite like the easy launcher. These are free by the way, so you can you can download them from the uh, the Play Store. Again, it gives it a nice, different look and feel. There are some functions it adds as well. Again, the app tray on this is slightly different. And finally, I'll show you one more. Um, this is uh, the Windows 8. So if you've heard of Windows Phone, this gives it the Windows 8 sort of look, or Windows 7 even, um, look to it with the tiles and things. So that's an interesting um, thing as well. So Android really gives you ultimate flexibility, you can make it what you want it. Now the standard launcher is that one there and we'll go back to our default launcher. Now the screen on this is a capacitive multi-touch screen. Now having a multi-touch capacitive screen makes the whole experience easier um, and far more responsive. So you can see it will track two fingers so I can do my pinch and zoom onto pictures and websites but actually it tracks five fingers so it, it's that much more accurate and sensitive. You're going to interact with this phone via your fingers mostly so it's very important to have a touch screen that is quick and responsive and accurate. Now with the five point touch that is all those things. So if I go into a picture very quickly I'll show you the uh, zooming and things it can do. Um, now you can do this on websites and on uh, pictures and things. So if I open up a picture, that's a background really but you can see I can zoom in in and out. And it's a nice resolution uh, screen it's nice and bright vibrant and clear so let's go back now I just showed you the uh, the Play Store as you can see the Play Store has lots of things on there some phones don't come with the Play Store this does so it makes it a lot easier to download new things this also has a camera obviously we've got a front facing and a back facing camera it's got all the uh, the general things that you'd expect from a uh, mobile phone camera you've got all the settings there to change the resolution flash and uh, things like that obviously you can do videos you can change it to the front camera as well now finally let me show you some games now this does have a dedicated 3d processor as well which makes it great for gaming if you do want to do gaming so let me show you a game or two and uh, you can see how capable this game is
So there you have it on the gaming front. I could show you more, but you can really see that this phone is a very capable phone and it will play all the games out there that you throw at it. Um, it's a very nice, well put together phone. If you're in the market for a good phone uh, at a great price, this is the one I believe. It is the best value Android smartphone that we've ever offered. Um, it does come at a superb price um, and I highly recommend this phone. If you want a very well built phone which is nice and thin, it's light, it's got a superb 4 inch screen. Uh, this is a glass screen by the way, a capacitive glass screen that instantly responds to the touch. This would be a very good purchase indeed. Remember, it's running the two tins at the same time, so essentially saving you carry two phones. Um, it really is such a bargain, this phone. It's a great price. It's running Android 2.3, but like I've shown you with the launches, you can make it look like Android 4 if you want to. Um, and it's got the Google Play, so you can download new applications and extend this phone far further than it really is. So, I do hope you uh, choose to buy this phone, I highly recommend it, and uh, thanks for watching our video.